Hi there everybody, my name is Ali and today I will be going to solve SSRF lab number 6 from Web Security Academy which is blind SSRF with shellshock exploitation and this one is an expert level lab which will take a lot of steps and with one of the most important thing which I like the most one is that we will be going to use Burp Suite Professional extension as well which will help us a lot doing this lab. So that being said, let's jump in. Now coming over here we can see lab number 6 which is blind SSRF with shellshock exploitation looking at the lab and its description what we can see here is it says this site uses analytics software which fetches the URL specified in the referral header when a product page is loaded. To solve the lab use this functionality to perform blind SSRF attack against an internal server in this range. So most probably I will be going to need the burp suite intruder functionality over here because i don't know exactly what is the ip address and port 8080 and it says in the blind attack use a shell shock payload against the internal server to exfiltrate the name of the os user so our main task is to get the username and this is most probably command injection and this is using shell shock now shell shock is quite old vulnerability which is which actually allows us to execute commands on the server which is remote code execution and how it does is there is a vulnerability in the bash environment which is in the environment variables and there is no proper filtration by which we can execute commands using environment variables so uh, that's how it goes on and we will see the payload as well now coming to the lab over here we are having blind SSR with shellshock exploitation and we need to submit the solution over here to actually solve the lab so let's try to see what goes on so i will first of all switch to my burp suite turn it on come back and my burp suite is all ready so i will click on view details over here just to confirm whether i'm seeing the request over here there it is my first request and now to solve this lab what we will be going to do is use an extension and the reason why is because it becomes very hard for a manual bug bounty hunter to actually hunt using manually all of the techniques yes that's the best technique doing manual things but still we need some sort of extensions and we need some sort of payloads or which does things automatically for us so that's how i will going to use an extension called collaborator everywhere and actually i do have installed that one but let me just confirm if i go to extensions yeah these all are my installed extensions right now and this one is collaborator everywhere and what you can do is you can install it from coming back over here you can search here for collaborator and on the second one you will see collaborator everywhere with this is a pro extension and if you are not having install button over here it is unchecked so what you need to do is you need to most probably go in the extension settings and in over here you need to download the jython standalone dot jar file to actually uh, download from google and select over here and then you will get that install button and then you can install that extension so coming back because i already have uh, installed this extension so what this extension does is that whatever you put in the scope uh, it will try to look for blind ssrf attack so uh, for example if i come over here if i see col collaborator i copy this collaborator payload to clipboard and just to show you if i paste that payload over here you can see it looks like this so what collaborator everywhere will do is it will put this payload in every request which i am browsing through over here so if i click on this let's say they, if i refresh this page this page shows me product id is equal to one i can do product id is equal to two here as well and this will show me the product number two so coming back over here it will show me all of the it will attack actually for look for blind ssr in different headers like referral header user agent and there are a lot of so like x forwarded for which are extremely useful in bug bounty so when i did product id is equal to two you saw that i my target tab actually just highlighted a little bit so if i just come to the target tab and right over here you can see that I, it directly showed me that collaborator ping back referred to collaborator ping back user agent 2 so that means that we do have uh, some callbacks going on and this is where collaborator everywhere extension helps us a lot to find blind ssrf but that's not blind ssrf because i told you that in ssrf we need to show the impact as well and this is where 
I will be going to show you the impact which is shell shock and I will show you how. So if we read about shell shock now you can do it on your own but let me explain you what shell shock is. Shell shock is a vulnerability in which we actually utilize user agent. So normally whenever we are doing remote code execution execution using shell shock we put the shell shock payload in user agent field and that's how it goes on. So what is showing me over here is that in my user agent I can see that there is a ping back and in the referer there is a ping back as well. So if I come back to my lab over here now it is making some sense. So I need to perform shell shock. So it means my shell shock payload will go in user agent and I need to find out the range as well. So my range of the IP address with the port will go into the referer header. So it makes sense now. So two things will go exactly at the same place. So let's come back and let's set a retroactive suite. Now to see how to recreate this request because I think so. Yeah. So let me show you how what collaborator everywhere actually did. And right over here you can see this is what collaborator everywhere did. So it added the payload in user agent. Then referer header. Then it added these all add headers itself which is xql ip client ip x client ip forwarded x forwarded for and so on just trying to look for different functionality but these all actually didn't work in this case so i will remove these all i can you don't need to but referer and user agent just sent a hit so if i just click on send one more time the request gone and you can see my target tab is there and if I come back over here you can see referer 3 user agent 3. But now what I can do is I can try to recreate it myself and what I will do is I will simply uh, remove this payload from here or let me remove user agent exactly from here and this is normally on the product endpoint where product ID is 1 and instead of user agent I can try to paste my own payload which is this one copy to clipboard and paste it over here then in the referer header again the same thing paste the payload over here I think so I need to add HTTP if I just send now now it should hit on my collaborator so I will click on poll now and I got some hits so both of the ones are showing me and make sure you see http whenever you are doing bug bounties because dns will never help so http is very important so i got a hit now let's try to go for the impact and how i can make the impact so what if i try because user agent is also reflecting back so what if i try to go for a shell shock payload so the shell shock payload actually looks something sort of this which is this and then afterwards I can do any command so I can try to go for a reverse shell or I can do ns lookup right over here ns lookup and then I will say let's say I want to execute a command called who am I because it says I need to go for the os user so I will do dollar and then in the bracket I will say who am I like this and then I will paste my collaborator payload right over here. So this becomes a complete payload. So what it will do is this is a very famous shell shock payload. You can just copy it from Google. So I memorized it. So I know how to execute it. So this one NS lookup lookup command and then this will look up over this one and my who am I command will got executed and I will get a hit back onto my collaborator if that works. But the problem is that where it will execute. I don't know. So for that purpose, I need to have the IP ranges and where I can try those over here but the problem is that I don't know exactly the range so this is where I will use now intruder so if I do port 8080 over here and select this one control I to send to intruder control shift I to move to intruder this one is already selected now if I have done everything right over here let's see whether so I need to see the payloads in the payload I will select numbers from 0 to 255 step will be 1 and I uncheck this URL encoding it doesn't matter right now but still I always do that one and let's start the attack and let's see if everything works fine and it is quite quite fast so I think so all requests are done 256 done let's come back to collaborator and now let's poll now 
and let's see if I get a hit or no. If I didn't, I have done something wrong. And this means I still am not getting any hit. So this means there is something wrong. So let's come back over here to intruder and see what I did wrong. So positions 192168. I think so. I need to add HTTP as well in the beginning. That might be the problem. So HTTP colon slash slash start the attack again. And let's see now. So 256 done. Go to collaborator. All now. And I do got some hits over here, which are DNS. Now, if I come back over here, you can see uh, my who am I command got executed and I am Peter right over here. So that's how actually we can combine these two attacks shell shock with referer header and we can try to get command execution. This is how we chain SSRF to some interesting remote code execution payload. So now to solve this lab, I think so I need to select this thing or I need to select the complete part over here because I think so port swigger has done a specific the string at the end so to solve it so if I come back over here submit the solution paste the answer okay and we have solved the lab so that was all about this video I hope you will like it and I will see you in the next video take care bye